Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is a replay sent to me by Thaddeus from MI6 Clan. Thaddeus is one of the active members. He's always a pleasure to platoon with and a hell of a nice guy. And in this game, in this replay, is platooning with the mighty Trevenator from MI6 Clan. You might remember Trevenator from another replay on this same map with Gunny B and their auto loaders at tier 10. This time they're top tier again, but this time they're only in tier 7s. Thaddeus is driving the mighty IS-2 which is probably one of my favourite tier 7 tanks the IS-2, the Russian IS-2 Berlin it's part of the Berlin Quartet I think it was called when they came out it's a premium tank, it's got the big cross on the top of the turret and a little bit of a little bit of decoration on the tank as well, they're on Windstorm and the Trevenator is driving his SU-12244, which whenever you platoon with him and we're doing tier 7s, he, all, he loves to bring it out. It's the, the, the quick, bouncy Russian tank destroyer with no turret, but it's got plenty of frontal armor and he's not scared to get in there and dish a bit of damage out from the front. Now, the Trevenator and Thaddeus are in a very fortunate position here. They're a top tier in a tier 7 match and the only other tier 7s uh, there's only three of them on the enemy side, which is which is very good, very good for Thaddeus and that Trevenator. Now you can see the our boys, the SU-122 and the ISU, as well as the Tiger One and an OI, are all going into the city. The Trevenator tracks the Hellcat, and Thaddeus finishes him, finishes him off for the kill. Now. The Trevenator cops a bit of a shot. It looks like it might have been from artillery. As they have a look at the KV-1. Unlucky not to miss that shot, Thaddeus, but it, was, it wasn't fully aimed, but you might as well take those shots. Now he catches this Tier 5 T1 Heavy unawares. He's on his own. He hasn't got much chance of doing any damage. And um, Thaddeus, the Trevenator takes him out of the game. So they're on one kill apiece now. Another unlucky shot from Thaddeus there, but you have a look at the mini-map, there's quite a few enemy tanks where our boys are in the city. Now some of them aren't as high tier as Thaddeus and the Trevenator, but they all need, a, need still all need to be killed. They don't want to be surrounded and outflanked. So it looks like they're going to focus on that Tiger P to start with. That's the good thing about this high alpha IS-2, 400 damage a shot, that's absolutely massive at tier 7. Now the Trevenator, out of view, just took out the SU-85. So even though it's only a T5 tank, it's still one that you've got to kill. Thaddeus tracks and puts some damage into the Tiger P. And from the safety of around the corner, I think you'll see he's a, he'll, he should get a shot on his tracks again. And he takes him out of the game. So they're on two kills apiece, Thaddeus and the Trevenator. But this Black Prince, VIP Tomato, what a name, VIP Tomato, has managed to get par get through the city, or might have gone around the city, and he's on full health, so these guys need to really take care of him. He's got 1,450 hit points, or he used to, now he's down to just over a 1,000, and so it looks like the Black Prince is focused on the Trevenator. Unlucky that shot bounced, if that shot hadn't have bounced, maybe the Trevenator would have survived, but Thaddeus is going to continue to carry this game as he picks up his third kill. So Thaddeus has got a little bit of support here with the Tiger 1 and the E25, and he's trying to get a shot into that pesky little T37. There it goes. Only four hit points, but we'll take the kill. So that's got to be the Seagull Award. Four hit points for the kill. And Thaddeus is now crossing into the middle of the map to help Basha B from TFS Clan. It is Cromwell. It looks like he's taken a little bit of a battering. The Tiger's doing exactly the right thing and following Thaddeus like a little lost puppy. And Thaddeus is moving up just to try and find out where these tanks are. They're all spotted on the northern flank. And there's the Comet, one of it's the only top tier tank remaining on the enemy side. And it's going to take him more than one shot to kill him. If he keeps going that way, 
point. Unlucky not to get that shot, not to land it. And it looks like the Comet will get around the corner before Thaddeus is reloaded. Now there's also a tier 6 VK3601, H for Harry. And the new invigorated birdie tank, which looks like that's what the Cromwell's going for. Looks like the Cromwell's going on a bit of an arty hunt. But that arty is a quick arty, so he could be anywhere by now. Luckily, he takes a shot from a couple of shots from the VK. One of them looks like his tracks ate the damage and he didn't take too much damage. The other one did a little bit of damage into the back of Thaddeus. Now it's four versus three at the moment, but the Cromwell's a little bit out of the game. That could have only have been the FV 304. Thaddeus puts a beautiful shot into the Cromwell. It wasn't fully aimed, but it doesn't always have to be. And that's made the Cromwell a one shot. And now he's getting focused on by artillery, which is exactly the right thing to do for the artillery. I don't know what the Cromwell's doing. He's, the Cromwell's gone to where the FV was last spotted, but it is a quick little artillery piece. He could be anywhere by now. It looks like he's up there where, where he's pinging. So hopefully the Cromwell goes after that little arty. Not so little. It used to be a lot smaller. The, Bo the Bertie FV 304. British tier 6. British tier 6 arty, but... Uh, he gets a nice look at that VK. And he can afford to take a couple more shots from that VK. It's only got a tier 6 gun on it. But Thaddeus is... A little bit nervous about that Comet coming around to flank him. If that Comet flanks him, he might be in a world of trouble. Despite what the uh, Tiger might do. Looks like the Tiger's not really moving around much. Basher B from TFS in his Cromwell. Looks like he's found the FV. And there goes the VK. which The VK was being quite painful. And now the FV is going on a Hero 1. And he's tried to ram... He's tried to ram Thaddeus. Why would any arty try to ram any heavy tank in the game? I don't know. And now Thaddeus takes out the Comet and picks up his seventh kill. An absolute carry by Thaddeus in his IS-2, the Tier 7 Russian Premium Heavy Tank. As you look at the post-game battle results, you can see he's had a great game. He's picked up an Ace Tanker, which is always, always gives you a warm, bubbly feeling inside when you pick up one of those Ace Tankers. Bruiser, Duelist and Fire for Effect Metal. Of course, a Steel Wall because he bounced a hell of a lot of damage, which you'll see in the next page. High Calibre and the Coveted Top Gun for picking up seven kills in that battle on Windstorm. Looking at the second page of the post-game battle results, the Trevenator was pretty unlucky to be taken out early by the Black Prince. But you can see Thaddeus had a massive game. Fired 17 shots. A couple of them were blind shots and not fully aimed. That's why only 14 of them hit. But out of the 14, 12 went through, which gave him the massive damage of 3,500. He received 11 hits, blocked 470. That doesn't sound like a lot to get a steel wall. He got a steel wall. Anyway, he'll, he'll take it, that's for sure. And ended up with a base score of 1,404 experience. That's for the massive amount of damage. 3,500 damage, nearly 3,600 damage compared to everyone else. Only three other players got over 1,000. And there are a couple of passengers down the back. Very good game from Thaddeus and the Trevenator at MI6 clan. Looks like Basher B from T TFS didn't have a bad game as well. Thanks very much for that replay. You can see plenty of replays featuring Th Thaddeus, the Trevenator and all the MI6 guys on the U on my YouTube channel. And also look at that healthy profit, nearly 42,000 bottom line profit. Premium tank, premium account equals lots of credits. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you all next time.